20 and the 40, um, we're looking for young entrepreneurs. The spotlight is on the youth. I've said that in this country, it looks like most of youth have seen as people who are not striving for excellence and then they are having some youthful exuberance. And I mean, they, they've been put in a bracket of saying that, I mean, they want to rush, they want to go ahead and all that. You know, there are people that have been categorized are doing some criminal activities, but there are people that are excelling. Now, the thing is that if at the age of 40 or under 40 and the person is excelling and you as it were, handle the person, you're encouraging the person in the next 10 years of your life or in the next phase of your life, move forward. And that's the whole thing. Now, we believe that you don't have to have grey hair before we pat your back. As young as you are, you know Facebook and all that, they started very young. So if people have started 21, 20, very young at this age and they're doing well, we think that we have to uh, congratulate them. 40 under 40 is anyway. We're looking for 40 people who are under 40 in 40 different industries. But if Ghana does not produce 40 people in a particular year, we don't really force ourselves to, as it were, uh, honor them. And that's what has been happening. I mean, we, we, this is the fourth year and our processes are very clear. I mean, we had 150 entries and we had to cut down to uh, 96. I mean, even the 96 we've cut down again today. Some people are not too happy because you see, the technical committee went around to do their own research. After that, a third party went to do another research. And after that, we found some people that not too of a heavyweight. And the decision was just taken yesterday. I want to congratulate my awarding board. It takes them details and times, hours. I mean, technical committee met four times, taking over six hours in every meeting in order to decide on this because that's the fate of anybody. You know, it's like exams. You remember when we were in school, the examiner would score us and give us F and A and all that because there are criteria we are following. And I'm also, I appreciate the fact that young people of this country are doing great. I read the things and I'm challenged because I'm a young man as well. I, I, I just turned 40 this year. <laughs> in fact, I'm going out of the bracket and I'm worried. Ghana should look at identifying key people. Somebody doing organs from the scratch and all that. Somebody, I mean, community development, like a young 11-year-old child who goes in the night to support people. These are the things we have to, recon we have to uh, sort of recommend. Next year being the fifth year, big year, we're hoping that Ghana will produce a lot of young people who are doing very well. I mean, this year has been COVID, so there has been a challenge with some... Yeah, but people have survived within COVID and all that. And I, I think that next year should be bigger, as, 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 as it were. So we are hoping that it will, we, will, we will introduce more, maybe public new categories or redefining, like we're trying to bring in recycling and all that, you know, some areas that we have not touched upon. And that's what we'll be doing next year. <laughs>